Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are going to be taking a look at the battery health menu which is located inside the battery menu in the settings app. So let's go ahead and go into settings and then onto the battery menu. And this is specifically talking about iOS 11.3. Right now we are in iOS 11.3 beta 3. So in this beta we are still looking at battery health here with the beta to the right of that. So let's just talk a little bit about the battery menu. Um, obviously you have a lot of data here surrounding what's eating up your battery life. So you can look at the last 24 hours or more detailed view the last seven days. So um, you can go ahead and see exactly how much um, of a percentage this is taking up from your battery life and it will give you like each app or process that you were using. You can also tap it and get the exact hours of on screen and off screen time that um, the app is taking. So that's a very detailed view I would say and it gives you kind of like a better idea as far as what's eating up your battery life. Um, up above here you have low power mode so you can um, you know basically activate that when you are on low power and then of course the enable auto brightness this is basically a suggestion so um, it's suggesting that I enable auto brightness to basically improve my battery life so you know the battery menu is fantastic it's a fantastic place to see um, how you can improve your battery life but they've added battery health and a lot of people don't know what this is so let's go into this menu and let's see exactly what we have here. Uh, maximum capacity that is referring to basically how much the battery in my iPhone 10 can charge. So right now since I've taken very good care of the battery and it's basically brand new only being a couple months old it can still charge to 100%. Now that doesn't really reflect like when you go to the battery here it won't like if that goes down to 98% it won't like not charge to 100% it's just the maximum capacity that it can charge in the battery itself will be 98%. So um, basically below here, you'll have peak performance capability and a little bit of an explanation as far as how my, um, my iPhone is doing on iOS 11. Now, if you have an older phone, this will look different. It'll kind of um, give you options to kind of throttle your, your performance um, in sake for, you know, in hopes for better battery life. So, um, you know, it's a little bit different but the overall explanation of this menu is the same. So maximum capacity, that's more of like battery health um, related. That's more of like your battery cycle. So a battery cycle is each time your battery goes from 100 to zero. So if it goes to 50%, that's half of a cycle. The next time it goes to 50%, that's another cycle. So each time your battery um, drains and then is recharged, it's going through cycles. It's just a matter of how many cycles it's going through. The maximum is obviously one. Now, um, maximum capacity, that will be determined by how many battery cycles you're using. So it's always better just to plug your iPhone in or um, lay it on a wireless charger because that's going to help your battery life in the long term. Now, peak performance cap capability, that's really just referring to um, how well your battery is going to withstand with all of the processes going on in iOS 11 and pretty soon now iOS 12. So that may change with iOS 12, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, probably later down the road, maybe September of this year, we may start seeing more data here. But Apple is actually really trying to expand on this menu and include a lot more data. Hopefully they include the battery cycles and sort of some more technical information regarding your battery, especially for developers who want to see all of that data on phone and don't have to use a program to, to access that information. So that's a little bit of an explanation on battery health. Um, you know, you'll see it in iOS 11.3, but this is not what we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing a little bit more detailed of a view and hopefully we'll be seeing some more features regarding battery health. Now, there is a program, it's called iMazing. I will be doing a sort of review or kind of um, example of how you will exactly see your battery health and how many cycles and everything like that. And for iPhone users that maybe you're on an iPhone 5S or a 6 and you're having some serious battery issues, you really want to take a look at that video because it will determine whether or not you need a battery replacement 
and if you can still take advantage of that battery replacement program from Apple. So get subscribed and stay tuned for that video because you will not want to miss that. So guys, thanks for watching. That was a short overview of the battery health menu located in the battery menu in the settings app. Thank you all for watching again. Get subscribed, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.